Hey guys, this is Elena from We Learn to Share. In this video, we're going to cover the three experiment design types that did frequently come out in AP Statistics. And now let's just quickly move on to our first design type, which should be a completely randomized design. And in this kind of design type, as you can presume or assume from its name, everything is random or done by chance. So the treatments are assigned to all the experimental units completely by chance, by random. And some experiments may include something that is called a control group that receives a placebo or a um, dummy treatment. And the placebo over here is a neutral treatment that has no real actual effect on dependent variable, but the people, but the participants who receive the placebo or the control group over here are tricked into believing that they are actually receiving certain kind of treatment that gives them effect, but they are not, right? Because placebo has no effect or whatever, no, no effect on the, on the dependent variable. And also, in something that something called a double blind experiment, neither the subjects nor those who interact with them know which treatments a subject receives. So it is blinded, double blinded, nobody knows. All right, moving on to the second type of the experiment, um, which is a block design. And the main purpose of a block design would be to isolate to I mean to eliminate the lurking variable, or in other words, to isolate the variability attributable to the difference between the blocks or the lurking variables, so that we can see the differences like caused by the treatments more clearly. And block just means that it is a block is a group of experimental units or subjects that are known before the experiment to be similar in a certain kind of way um, that is if expected to affect the response to the treatment. So that has a potential to become a lurking variable. And also in a randomized block design, um, a the random assignment of experimental units to treatments is carried out separately within each block. And lastly, we're going to look at something that is called a match pairs design, or this is better to remember, the special case of block design. Okay, and in the match pairs design, um, it is a randomized block design um, in which each block consists of a matching pair a matching pair of similar experimental units. And chance is used to determine the which unit in each pay, pair gets each treatment. Mm -hmm. And it also always, always mostly comes in pairs. And the pair in matched pairs design consists of a single unit that receives both treatments. And chance is again used to determine which treatment is applied first for each unit. So let's like just quickly construct one experiment to uh, get a better feeling of what block design and match pairs design will look like. So let's say that you, you did SRS and then the researchers gather like 200 participants. And then they're going to divide them into blocks. For example, let's say they will divide the, the participants into blocks by um, applying the standard of gender. Then they're going to basically separate the participants by female and male, right? And you're gonna say that female and male is each one, yeah, each of them would be blocks. And again, they can also separate the male participants um, by ages. Like, so there will be some participants that will be, that will be over 50 and that will be under 50. And this is what, I, what I'm gonna say that match pair design will look like because it comes in pairs or two or a certain kind of variable that could be divided into two parts, like female, male, under 50, over 50. But the block design over here could be, uh, could be something like this. So yeah, let's say the researchers divided the male, the participants that are, who are male, that is also under 50 um, into uh, based on weight. So they will separate the male into uh, those under 50, like for example, the men who is maybe under like 40 kilograms or like under, f or mm, let's just say like 50 kilograms to 60 kilograms, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, and like 80 to 90. 
in this case, we can say that block design is used. I mean, block design is used also in here and here everywhere, right? But um, you can't say that match pairs design is applied over here because it is not in like, it does not come in two pairs, right? So this is why we say that match pair design is a special case of block design. I hope that my video would help you to understand the experiment, the three experiment design types. And yeah, this will be the end of my video. Thanks for watching and please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.